Hi everybody, it's Mr. Ham here again. So in this video, I like to um, go through playing sound on Python in the Windows environment. So this will this will only work in the Windows environment. I haven't uh, at the moment got a Mac to try out how it's done in the Mac or the Linux. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you two things. I want to show you um, Wind Sound, the the Wind Sound library, where you can play you can play a sound, but you kind of have to wait for that sound to finish if you want to play another one. And if you start another one, um, it kind of stops the one that you played before. So you really only got kind of one device. You you only got one device that you can use, and you uh, and so you can't play sounds in parallel, which is fine if you want some kind of background, you know, background music running, and you don't you know. And you can loop it as well. Um, and then at some point, I'd like to show you how to use the MCI audio, where you can actually play sounds in parallel and um, and actually use the multimedia um, um, device from Windows. So we'll do that. So I'll start with Wind Sound first. Wind Sound is pretty straightforward. So to start off with Wind Sound, you want to import the um, Wind Sound library basically uh, in the Windows. Platform. Now you need to be on Windows. If you if you are in on anywhere else, you probably won't get this particular um, library. And now we can just play the sound. So I'll just show you how to do it. So let's say I want to play the sound when I when I when I click the mouse. So mouse left is pressed. I just want to play sound. So to play the sound, you write win sound, win sound dot, and there's a beep. You can do a beep. There's a few methods it's got. It's got message beep, sound beep. That's about it. And the one that we want to use is play sound. And you put in the the, the sound file name. And then there's some some flag that you put in. Now right now I don't have any files, so what I could do is I can just add in a uh, a sound file. Um, maybe I'll just record myself. I'll, I'll go into Audacity and just do a recording of myself, saying you know just making a sound effect or something like that. So let's let's go into. Uh, Audacity. I'll just record myself. Thump. Okay, so I just made a thump noise, terrible thump noise. Maybe I like if I had a beatboxer, could do some really cool sound effects. Be great. So I think that that's good enough. So what I'll do here, I'll, I'll look. I'll save that sound, and I'll uh, and I'll um. I'll export that sound as a uh, as a wave. So I'll export the sound as a wave. Call it test. Into my downloads folder, All right? And what I'll do is I'll put, I'll import the sound into my my folder here. Well, let's just grab, get to it. Downloads folder. Let's grab my survey file. Let's put it into there. Um. All right. Let's try that. So when I click the mouse, it will make play the sound. And the flags are pretty much um, how you want the sound to play. All right. So in the documentation, I'll just pull up the documentation here. All right. Um, these are so 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 you got your Python library, Wind Sound here. So just Google Wind Sound, and you got some uh, flags here. There's loop. And the only really two is loop and async. They're really the two that you probably want for uh, a game framework. Where async basically means it doesn't block, like your code doesn't kind of halt. It play while your code is running, it plays a sound. So you want that. And also if, whether you want to loop it or not, whether it's a background music that you want to loop or not, right? And you, you can combine these two. So what I could do is I can um, go set, uh, win sound, right? Win sound because you need to access the. Um, and then dot, and then you get all the things you can choose. So you will choose async, and that will play it so that it doesn't block it. So we'll run it just to test it out. 
so it so it does work so so if i click on it, it goes dump 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 so it's working if you can't hear it from my uh, and also um you notice it's still moving now if i was to let's see if i were to just get rid of that will it work let's just run that just to show you So it doesn't work so it doesn't work so you, you want to give it some kind of um, flag now let's say you want it to repeat itself same deal so wind sound so you, you, you can you can write winds you can write wind sound dot uh where's loop scroll down scroll down there's loop let's chuck this on a on an actual i just want to test it on an actual mouse click i think the update function is always an issue so if mouse press here let's just shove it here see if it loops error oh yeah that's right in python they can't have um naked if statements get rid of that you need to add a line so shift put that line in so that you can also add in uh, another another flag so this is how you add more than one flag you put that line in between the two flags so, so the documentation states that um, you need to use this with loop to avoid blocking or if it doesn't want to block it. Let's try this now. And so, so it's repeating, dump, 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 dump. So it's actually repeating itself right there. And that's pretty much how you use um, uh, wind sound. So they're the, pretty much the flags. You, you put this in or you don't put this in up to you. And that's how you play a sound. And um, and remember, it doesn't it, it stops the other sound before it plays the next sound. Okay, all right. Um, I think I'll stop it here, and I'll talk about the MCI audio um, in the next video.